morning, sunshine. My face looks rounder too. So, what you're about to watch is from the past, and then this is future Nikki telling you, but you're about to watch it work out with me and Mac, and it just was great. I complained the whole time and made some friends, as usual. <laughs> so, hope you enjoy the workout and, you know, the surprise. Enjoy the vlog. Like a small boat on the ocean, any big way in emotion. Like how a single word can make your heart open. I may only have one match, but I can make an explosion. Fight so, take back my life so, prove that I'm alright so. Yo, don't fear now, like Tyson, I get your ear now Freestyle, I know I don't write that You bite me, well I'ma bite back Like, uh, take it Mortal Kombat flow is like Raiden Going up, straight gravity You when I'm on the flow, fatality, yeah Trying to do it without me Trying these bitches, they come and they doubt me There's like good luck, like a cage man With your girl, Ronda Rousey I'm straight going and I know ya yeah, I'm floating the flow like Noah I'ma beat them every time Okay guys, so I've been teasing you on Twitter, and maybe Instagram, I don't remember, with a spontaneous decision I made, and I'm ready to reveal it. And that decision is, as you can probably tell by the video title, my new crib. And I'm so excited about it, because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So to begin, the apartment has two entrances, so, I'm gonna take you through the second entrance, not the main one, because I wanna save the best for last. So entrance number one actually leads you into one of the guest bedrooms, as you can see here. This is where I plan on doing, since you can enter through here, I think it's a little weird to make this a bedroom or something, so I'm going to make this more like um, my dresser and my vanity and like a get ready area, something like that is my game plan in my head, is what I'm thinking. And there's tons of closet space, so this whole thing is closet. Very nice third bedroom. We're gonna mosey on over here to the second bedroom, which is small, to be fair. It's a small like square space, and it has this magnificent skylight at the top, which I love. Nice closet space as well. This one I'm gonna have as the guest bedroom because it's private. And it's also, since there's no windows and there's just that skylight, I might make it like a movie room kind of thing. So I'll have the bed in here and a big TV. If I get another couch, I'm not actually gonna put the couch in here. I have a lot of plans, a lot of ideas, but we'll see. Right now, this is gonna be the guest bedroom, so my mom, my sisters, whoever comes over has a place to stay. Third bedroom um, is the master bedroom. This is a decent sized room. It's got a huge window, massive. And what I think is really cool about it is that it has this big, I don't know what she would call this, like a, Atrium, but I don't know if that's the right word, so don't quote me on it. But it's like its own little patio area that's completely screened in, which will be great for Max because he can come out here whenever he wants. And, ooh, the hell of lighting in here. And it's just its just really cool. I feel like I want to put like plants out here and just, you know, a garden. I don't know what I'll do with that. But it's cool to have my own personal little patio space, little outdoor space, especially because the weather's always nice here. And there's tons of storage whole wall of closets again. More storage than I even know what to do with. Master bathroom. Oh, which one is that? It's cute. It's got two sinks, lots of storage, drawers, everything. I feel like this place is all about random storage everywhere. There's so much. It has a tub and also a standing shower. It's really cute. This place is a much older apartment. I think it was built in the 70s or 80s, like the building itself. So it's a lot different from what I've lived in. I pretty much only lived in new apartments my whole adult life. But this one is obviously very recently updated. It's got all this nice flooring and everything. Um, the bathroom, again, look at all this storage. What, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it all. <laughs> and then those are the three bedrooms. I kind of lost this little area of the house. Okay, and then keep walking. Gonna have the second bathroom. 
This one is a tighter fit. There's double sinks still though, which I think is cool. Also obnoxious amounts of storage. And it's like, this is the tight fix. You have to kind of close the door to get to the toilet, which I feel like is not that much of a sacrifice. And it has a tub and a shower, which is nice for guests. And yeah, toilet obviously. <laughs> This is a cute little bathroom. And then all along this hallway, we have more storage. I got rid of half my stuff in Texas because I thought I wasn't gonna have enough storage. This place is bigger than my place in Texas. Got a washer and dryer in here. They're just installed, they were like custom so they could fit this little closet. And then another closet right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And we have this massive, expansive living area. Like, oh my gosh, so much space. And it keeps going. Like, you come around over here, and there's a whole nother, like, nook in this corner. So, game plan is, in case you're wondering, I'm gonna put, like, a room separator right here, and then make this, like, an office studio, like, with a backdrop where we can take pictures and things like that, because the lighting's amazing in here. And then, like, couch, TV, stuff over here, dining table, etc. over there. Over here's the kitchen, which is a little anticlimactic in my opinion. It's an electric stove. The cabinets are too high for me. And the fridge is, you know, all right. There's not an ice maker in it, which is gonna, I think I'm gonna ask if I can just get my own fridge, honestly. But, Either way, nice kitchen, you know, decent countertops, good cabinets, I'm happy with it. But it's not my favorite part of the apartment, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know if I should talk like that, but I don't mind being honest and open. And I really like gas stoves and it's not a gas stove, but that's okay. Because if I love the place, I can swap them out. So, grand finale, the best part of the place. The reason that I chose this place and I had to have it it's because, where are you gonna get outdoor space with a view like this? Oh my gosh, the weather in California just kills me every time I walk into it. <laughs> with, I've got a view of the Hollywood sign. I'm in the hills, view of the hills. I can see Capitol Records. I can see everything, and it's a thousand square feet. And not only that, I've got this huge patio, right? Oh, it's very sunny. Then, I have these stairs, and you can go up them. This is all mine and the views are just like, holy shit. I just, I can't even fathom it. Like, and, I'm, and this place is less than the place that I'm leasing now in downtown. Less, 2,000 square feet, 1,000 square foot patio with a view of the Hollywood sign. It's this beautiful, this much lighting, updated. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this place. I was like, I, I have to have it. And it's the only one of its kind. There's not like multiple units, so. It's all mine. November 1st. And I'm very excited. And that's, that's it. That's going to conclude the empty house tour. I cannot wait to decorate this. You all know how I feel about home decorating. And that's the only reason that I haven't put up Christmas decorations yet. I know it's October and you're like, oh Nikki, you're insane, I know. But that is the only reason why, because I'm not gonna decorate two places for Christmas. And can you think of the possibilities of the places I could put Christmas lights? <sighs> and Max is gonna love the outdoor space. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in green turf, and I have to like protect the fencing so he can't get out the fence, but, because he's not adventurous, he doesn't really jump over things, but I'll just have to keep one eye on him. But he'll still, like, I know he loves the outdoors, so as long as I'm watching him, I'd feel comfortable taking him outside. That's it, I'm so excited. Thank you for watching. This is my new LA chapter, you know, Hollywood instead of downtown. I feel like downtown was a little too concrete, a little too urine smelling for me. Even though I did love it for a while. And I love the building that I'm living in, but you know, it's time to move on. I'm ready. This place is so pretty. Oh, so okay. Bye, I'll see you in the next vlog. Oh, and if you have any ideas about decorating, there's a lot of space in here. I don't know what to do, so throw them down below.